Okay, and we're back. It's time to take our golden chicken across the ocean. Let's do it. It's finally time. I'm super excited because I did not get this on my first playthrough. We can now run across the ocean. Oh, we can, can we sink? We can, oh gosh. So you have to keep moving. Oh gosh, that's so... <laughs> I kinda wanna know what happens. I kinda wanna know what happens. If we sink, I kinda wanna know. I'm actually a bit curious. We'll find out after we're done grabbing the materia. But first, Knights of the Round. Uh, if we can get in there, hello? Okay, yeah, I was about to say, it's just gonna stay there, right? Hey, look! Naturally, a f it looks like huge materia that naturally formed. Over the course of many years, Mako energy crystallizes into materia. Knights of the Round! We got ourselves some different huge materia. We're not done yet. So Knights of the Round. I have not seen it before. I've deliberately avoided watching any videos of it. So I don't know what it what it looks like, but I do know what it does. It is the most powerful summon by far. So this one, it is actually possible to land the high wind here on the edge and then get off on the beach here. You can actually cheese this one. But I chose not to. Yeah, here it is. Right? Up here? Yeah, here we go. There's like a ledge that you can uh, get off to get this one early. Over the course of many years, Mako energy crystallizes into materia. It just says the same thing. Quadra magic. Yeah, where is it? Yeah, you can kind of clip. You can land the high wind like right on the edge here and then clip, clip to the side here to get quadra magic early if you want. But like I said, I'm not going to do that. I have gold chocobo. Why do why do the glitch to collect one early when I still have to collect the other three anyway? Oh my gosh. I love how this thing can basically go up sheer cliffs. Wow. Quadra magic allows you to cast any spell four times at I think 75% power but you get to cat but you get to cast it four times in a row and if your power is high enough it'll still hit the damage cap so if you have enough power the 75% power won't actually hurt you because you'll still be hitting the 9999 damage cap so you'll just hit four times for the cost of one spell Unfortunately, it doesn't work with Knights of the Round specifically, but then there's this. Mime. Mime is really powerful. Mime allows you to literally just repeat the last action you did without any cost. 
So let's say you use Knights of the Round, and then you don't have enough MP to cast it twice. Well, if you use Mime, there's no cost. Oh yeah, did I mention that you can use a Limit Break? And then copy the Limit Break on the next turn, so you basically just get two Limit Breaks? Like, Mime is really powerful. Look at this thing go! Look at this thing! This is awesome! This is way better! This is... <laughs> I don't know about way better, but it's still... This is better than the High Wind. This is so much better than the High Wind. Like, this is just crazy. Like, what are mountains? What are obstacles? This is awesome. And here... We have one that I probably won't use. HP MP swap. So your MP becomes your HP. And your HP becomes your MP. Ideal for casters. If you just want to have an infinite amount of MP to cast forever with. Yeah, like... I, I'm actually kind of curious about something now. Like, can I just go to the Northern Crater with this thing? Like, is it really that busted? Well, here, let me get off of this first. I'm gonna save on this tiny little island that I could never escape from without my chocobo. Oh, you gotta go? Aw. Alright. Well, hey, thanks for coming, Bradenator. You're awesome. It was good seeing you, man. I'll see you around. Oh no, can we not? Okay, there we go. So we can seriously just climb up this area. Can we actually get into... No, okay, the Chocobo will not climb into Northern Crater. All right, fine. But just the fact that we can get here. It, that's just crazy. That's just crazy. Yeah, see you later, Bradenator. You have a good night. Okay. So... We're gonna make our way back to the high wind, and then we're gonna sink, because I wanna know... I wanna know what happens. I just... I have to know. What happens if we just sink? Also, we apparently get zero enemy encounters. That's awesome. That's even more awesome. We get zero enemy encounters. That's crazy. Here's some ledges. Like, this can... You, you have to have a mountain chocobo to get over these ledges, too. Like, this one right here? There's no way up other than a mountain chocobo. I guess you could get the, uh... Well, obviously, you could get the high wind, but... Oh! Oh, shoot. That's right. Hold up. There's something we need... There's something else we need to do before I forget. Hold up. Where's that crater? There is a crater somewhere around here with Vincent's stuff in it. Where is it? Is it on the other continent? I think it is. We can use Golden Chocobo to get to Vincent's stuff without... to Vincent's ultimate weapon and final limit break without the submarine. Get in here. We can! Golden Chocobo can take us in here, too. 
Even though the game said earlier that Chocobo can't won't let us do this. Oh, okay, that's weird. Yeah, here we go. So we gotta take Vince in. Um, doesn't matter too much. Unless, oh wait, no, oh, is it after Cloud? Oh, do we have to get Cloud back first? Okay, that might be it. Fine. Hi, Aurora. How's it going? We got ourselves a gold chocobo. Now we can just kind of go wherever. What are mountains? What's the ocean? <laughs> What's a sheer cliff? What's a sheer cliff? So we just got all four of the um, materias. We just got all four of the the materias in the materia caves. So we have Knights of the Round, Quadra Magic, HP MP Swap, and uh, Mime. So we can copy our limit breaks. All kinds of good stuff. So real quick though, what happens if we sink? Saving the game here. Uh, we haven't celebrated my birthday yet. Monday was a stream. Uh, I had Tuesday off, but not everybody else does. So, we're celebrating my birthday this, this weekend. So, if you see, if we stop running, we kind of sink into the shallows here. What happens if we sink into here? Nothing? Oh, nothing happens? Oh, we're like a little duck. We just float. Awesome, okay. <laughs> Gold Chocobo is just too good. All right. We'll take the Gold Chocobo into, a, into the high wind and now we can finally go off and get the, uh, get the huge materia now. Awesome, all right. Oh gosh, I need to. Rework my materia setup now that I think about it. So, yeah, okay, so the high wind is awesome, but I feel like the gold chocobo is actually pretty cool. <gasps> no. Oh, shoot, I just remembered. We can go here early now. Oh, gosh, we should. Mm, do I want to go here now, though? No, we'll wait till I get Cloud back. I'll wait till I get Cloud back, then we'll come to this. But, that is something to keep in mind. So, where am I going? We're going to Fort Condor. Yeah, Fort Condor first. All right, you giant condor. I have a bird too, and it's a better bird. I have a much better bird than that condor. Um, I don't think we can take our chocobo in. The, 
I still think, like, one of the best parts about this is that there's no encounters. There's no encounters on the world map as long as we're on our chocobo. That's so awesome. Alright. Okay, Fort Condor. Here we go. So, we could do North Coral. But... Yeah, we can do them in any order we want to. There is a trick we can do to pick up... An alternate... Like, there's a trick we can do to pick up two, two Phoenix Materias. But honestly... We don't really have to do that trick. We could just... Master Phoenix and get another one. Like, yeah, we don't need two Phoenix Materias. Having the one is honestly enough. And if I really want another one, we'll just do the same thing I did with Odin and master it. I do have a second Odin, right? Yeah, there's Knights of the Round. Yeah, just master Odin and get another Odin. Same thing with Phoenix. I'll just master it. Speaking of which, I am soon going to have to account for Knights of the Round. I need to get Knights of the Round in here. Shoot. Where am, I, where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? We're also gonna have Bahamut Zero pretty soon here. Oh, man. Yeah, I've got a bunch of mastered materia. I've been hard at work grinding. Uh, I think we'll, we'll take out probably Neo Bahamut. Uh, or regular. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Those two were just placeholders anyway. Okay. Knights of the Round. Minus 10% HP, just like Neo Bahamut, but... We get plus 20% MP. We're at max MP for Nanaki. He can't go any higher. And the plus magic and magic defense is super high. Plus 8 instead of plus 2 for the same cost. That's... Awesome. I can't wait to see Knights of the Round. I can't wait to see it. I am going to smack the enemy here super hard. This is going to be great. Uh, oh, we need all these other things powered up as quickly as possible. Uh, I guess... Mime? Yeah, well, I, okay. So Mime technically... Uh, but it would be nice to have multiple mimes. Yeah, it would be nice to have two mimes. So let's go ahead and set that up. Then there's Quadra Magic. Is there anything I even want Quadra Magic on? I don't think so, actually. Well, I might want it on, like, Comet or something. I do have Comet here. Hmm. There's so much good stuff. Let's take off Odin. We don't really need Odin. We'll stick Mime on here. He's using... Barret's using a rune armlet, so that'll double the AP gain for Mime. That's a big deal. Uh, this Luck Plus is nice, but maybe put it somewhere else, I wonder. <laughs> maybe I should put it somewhere else. Um, also, this Luck Plus is mastered... So we could make room. HP MP swap I'm probably never going to use, to be honest with you. It's not that great. Quadra magic, on the other hand. Hmm. Quadra magic. Or you know what might be even better is probably just putting Knights of the Round here instead. Yeah. Nah, uh, we'll leave it on Nanaki for now, but I'm gonna have to really grind out Knights of the Round later. And Quadra Magic. I don't really need Quadra Magic right now. 
Knights of the Round and Mime are my two big ones at the moment. And this Luck Plus, we, we actually do want to level up the Luck Plus here. I could take off MP Turbo. Yeah, MP Turbo is almost mastered. Yeah, sure. I'll finish mastering MP Turbo later. We're not in a hurry. Yeah, there we go. Just making the most of what we have. We can save here? No, we can't. Well, there's a save point down there. Save here and do the only Fort Condor battle we're ever gonna do. And it's going to be a long, long, long wait, unfortunately. So up here, such a strange fort. Just a series of tunnels and caves. That's not what I meant to do. Talk to the guy. Situation has changed. Look like looks like the enemy is set to attack. If we lose here, it's over. Our lives are in your hands. We're counting on you. Okay, ready. This is the deciding battle. The enemy numbers are more than ever before. Good. Okay. So, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for the enemy to get up. I'm not sure when they actually show up. Let me make sure it's not waiting on me to set something. Nope, nothing. Yeah, nothing. There we go. Yeah, I had to start it. Okay. So let's make sure speed is set to high. Okay. And when this guy finally makes it to the top, we'll get an Imperial Guard. So last time I said we were going to get a Mistal, I was wrong. We get an Imperial Guard from this. The Mistal is later. But it's still really good. Imperial Guard is actually a very strong armor. So... Maybe I should have had maybe I should have had the break lined up with this with this mini game here. Maybe that's what I should have done. So, how's everybody doing? How happy are you that it's Friday, Aurora? And the, we the work week is finally over. I hope things are going well for you. Wayne, if you're still around, what games have you been playing on stream lately? I 
haven't had the opportunity to check. What you been up to lately? Just gonna be sitting here for a while, so might as well enjoy the sights, I guess. Oceanhorn and Genshin. Ah, okay. I've never heard of Oceanhorn. What's that game? An indie Zelda? Oh, I see. There's a couple of those. What do you think of it? Is it good? Oh my gosh, it actually encountered the stoner. Enemy invasion! Let's do it! It's pretty good, frustrating at times, but not bad. Okay. This is it! Crush it! 250 MP! Knights of the Round! Ultimate end! This is way overkill for this guy. Or at least it should be- yeah, it's way overkill! It's way overkill for this poor guy. Thirteen high damage attacks! I believe this is the only summon in the game that does multi-attack. There are plenty of summons that attack all targets on the field, but this is the only one that hits multiple times. Well, I should say, yeah, multi-hit, I should say, rather than multi-attack. Just getting obliterated. Also, this is a very long attack sequence. <laughs> Almost an exact duplicate of a Zelda game? Wow. It's not dead? Oh no, that's oh that's its uh that's its final attack. Yeah, I was about to say, that's its revenge attack. It's like how could it not be dead after Knights of the Round? Imperial Guard. Well that was easy. Yes, we did it! That was wonderful, thank you. I doubt Shinra will attack now, after seeing that. I would hope not. Uh, arg. And now the condor. The condor is reborn. Sure hope nobody died when that huge body fell, though. That light just now. The condor. The egg. What? Did you go outside and see what it was? So if we don't go outside and then wait till disc three and pick up, pick up a phoenix materia in Bone Village, we can then come back and collect a second one here. Or, like I said, we can just grab the one here and master it and duplicate it that way. 
Collecting the additional one really doesn't matter. I feel like we don't need more than one Phoenix Materia anyway. And there we have it. The Condor is reborn. As what appears to be... Honestly, that looks like just a chocobo with wings that allow it to fly. It basically just looks like a chocobo, except it actually has wings that are big enough for it to fly. Huh. But we have Phoenix. Phoenix is a really good Materia. It's a really good summon. It's probably the most useful summon outside of uh, Knights of the Round, for sure. That party revive is good. Everyone, thanks. I really mean it, thanks. Although, well, there isn't anything we can give you. We'll make sure or you can stop in and stay anytime. So be sure to drop by. Yes, yes, and there's one thing I forgot to tell you. Received key item, huge materia. Huh? What's this? It's huge materia. The truth is, the materia inside the reactor. What did we fight for? We weren't protecting the reactor. We were protecting the condor. When the reactor was built, they forced us to help. That's how we knew what was inside the reactor. I knew this day would come, so after Shinra left, I sneaked in and took the materia. I didn't mean to fool you, but I guess that's how it ended up. I'm really sorry. Just forget about it. Anyway, we're still alive. I see. If you put it that way, we're really grateful. All right. Also, the shop here is pretty amazing. I think we can buy all materials here, right? Now that we've actually done that, yeah, we can buy Throw, Manipulate, Death Blow, All, and Destruct. Wow, yeah, okay, so we can actually sell certain materials, and they won't be lost forever, if I do. Because there's certain materials, like, we only need one copy, well, I guess maybe two copies of Death Blow, but, like, one copy of Manipulate, and Throw, and Destruct, and All materials, we don't need that. Yeah, like, we... We can sell the duplicate all materials that don't have any MP or AP attached to them and not be like, oh, and now we can never acquire another all materia. No, we can totally buy it. But see, the reason I might want to do that is simply because I don't need two contain materials. Contain is really powerful, but it's only single target spells. Never gonna need two of these. Well, actually, we can't necessarily buy Contain, so I'll keep that. But Destruct, Comet, might keep these, but there are definitely certain ones we don't need. I have two added effects now. I have so many elementals. Um, yeah, I think we're good for alls, but like, we don't need two Manipulates. We don't need two Manipulates. Even though we won't get any money for selling this, I just want to clean it out of my inventory. Uh, we don't need two throws. Yeah, we don't need two copies of throw. What, would we, what do we need that for? Uh, steel? I don't really feel like we need two copies of steel, to be honest, but I'll hold on to the other copy as well. Yeah, I think we're good here. I might sell some more later. We'll see. But at least that's two I can empty out of my inventory. Manipulate and throw. Um, do we need anything? I don't think we need anything. We have so many ethers from farming in in uh, Medeal. We have plenty of high potions. 
Phoenix Downs. I mean, if anything, we'd need those hypers, tra uh, tranquilizers. S mines. We can get some more of those. I have a basically, I have basically an unlimited amount of money. I still have 17 tenths. I think I'm fine. Yeah, I think I'm just fine. I don't think I need anything else. Let's get out of here. Let's head to the train in North Coral, where we will pick up several important things, actually. There's actually some really important stuff to get in North Coral. Not the least of which is Ultima and Barrett's final limit break. So, yeah, some pretty important things. North Coral, North Coral is on the other continent. So, right over here. There we go. Stay right here. Uh, so, yeah, okay, after that, we're gonna probably wanna throw down a few ethers. Knights of the Round is costly. Go ahead and save here. Now, let's hurry and get all the North Coral stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. We gotta go through the fish again. Actually, can't we access this from the other direction? Yeah, hold on a second. Isn't it possible to get the train thing going from the other way? Hey, OB. Welcome back. Um, can't we just... Can't we go through here? Is it here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, but it's gonna put us out in North Coral, though. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. If we do this, we'll end over here in North Coral, and we'll have to go all the way around to get our Chocobo and everything, so... Yeah, maybe not. Unless... Clever? Am I clever? Maybe. No, we'd have to land the high wind here, take the chocobo over here. Land the high wind here. Then chocobo here. Now we can just climb up this way. And it should be faster, right? Faster and with less enemies. These poor little forest creatures. They have no idea. So we just finished getting Knights of the Round and all the other Materia Cave Materias. Is there really nothing to collect there? Hmm. And hey look, we're here at the reactor already. And we just finished getting the huge Materia from Fort Condor.
Got to see Knights of the Round for the very first time. Such an awesome summon. It does take like a minute and a half to go through the through the animation, but uh, eh. Um, oh, these guys. Here we go. Here we go. The fish, but thankfully we have counter attack. So we need to steal the warrior bangle from the eagle gun when we get to it. Stop the train correctly, and we get a huge materia. And Ultima, yeah. There is definitely something we're going to want to do. Yeah, we are saved prior to this. Yeah, we did. We definitely saved prior to this, but uh, hold on. Let me configure some things real quick because we need to steal that thing from the uh, eagle gun. But if but if we have added cut, we might accidentally kill it. So let's not accidentally kill what we're trying to steal from. That would be bad. Um, anything in particular to level up here? Uh, we could, f yeah, we'll put MP Turbo on it. I mean, even though this doesn't work, at least it'll finish leveling up MP Turbo. Why not? But when I go to steal, I definitely don't want to accidentally kill Eagle Gun. Um, in fact, I may even want to take off the counterattacks to prevent that from happening. And I probably will in the middle. Yeah, we'll do that in the middle of the actual train sequence. That'll be pretty quick to do. I'll just take them off. You guys are... We're Avalanche! Easy. Pitiful guards. Of course, we're just a little bit over leveled. Just a little. Sit at level 65. I guess we're safe now. Uh, not quite. Uh oh. Not entirely safe. You should have jumped on when you had the chance. Just grab on and get up there. Looks like they're taking off with the huge materia in that train. No, you boneheads. Did the Shinrig beat us? Hey, do you know who I am? I'm Sid, that's who. Now just let me handle it. We'll just go inside this tiny, <laughs> this tiny reactor and pull out a second train. Hey, 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 hey. Like seriously, how in the world would two trains like that fit inside this reactor? Like, you see, it's just a tall pillar, right? A thin, narrow little pillar? Like, where in the heck are the trains coming from? How can they even drive this? Don't ask me, I don't know. What? Don't worry, I can handle this. Two levers, one on the right, one on the left. What are the buttons? See, just alternate the two levers up and down, right? Judging from the enemy's speed, I'd say it'll take about 10 minutes. We're gonna fly, hold on tight. Uh, left and, okay. Direction up and menu. Yes, because those buttons make sense. Direction up, menu, up, menu, up, menu, up, menu. 
Just gotta move fast. Come on. There we go. Not too bad. Sure wish the timer wasn't still running. First fight. Easy. Like I said, we're so overpowered. This will just be a couple of attacks. What a joke. We actually do not want to use Knights of the Round right here. Using Knights of the Round here would take up a minute and some of our time, so it would probably be bad. Uh, but what we can do is Magic Breath, assuming Sid doesn't just win the fight. Which he might. Magic Breath and Trine are both really good here. And, um, game, there we go. This particular enemy, this guy, this really cool looking enemy here, is vulnerable especially to laser can cut its HP down really fast. Although, honestly, we might be so overpowered we might not even need that. Maybe we don't actually need that. Yeah. Maybe we don't. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Never mind. I'm giving... I'm giving them way too much credit. Okay, so next up, we actually need to, uh... We need to take off the counterattack materials, or we will accidentally kill the uh, the enemy we don't want to. Uh, especially at our power levels, Avalon. Yeah, the counter is way longer than it needs to be. So this is the enemy we need to steal from. We need, we need to steal the warrior bangle from it, from it. I forgot we have to mug it, unfortunately. You know what we might do? We'll heal it so it doesn't die. I can only afford to do this a couple times though. Come on, steal it. Stole Warrior Bangle, good. Excellent. So now we'll just delete it with Magic Breath. Yeah, that's the only sticking point in this entire timer. Magic Breath does tons of damage to this because one of the elements is lightning. And so it's weak not only to the lightning but to everything in Magic Breath because it's weak to one of them. So it's weak to all the elements in it. Bye bye, Metal Bird. Yeah, it kind of did look like Kyogre, didn't it? A little bit. I mean, sort of. Okay. We have so much time left, I'm gonna go ahead and just fix our materia back up. The main thing was just we absolutely had to get, at all costs, we had to get that, uh, that warrior bangle, because I think that's the only opportunity to get it. So we got the warrior bangle. Yeah, it's Kyogre if Kyogre were a steel type. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. What the? You guys... All right, hand over the huge materia. He doesn't listen, he tries to fight us. How's it going, Avalon? Mug him. 
I hope you're having a good day. Stole eight inch cannon. We got an eight inch cannon out of that. Amazing. All right, now we just have to stop this train. Got guts coming after me. I'll never forget you. No time for that now. We got it going, but how do we stop it? Well, I still have four minutes. I know already. Just shut up and sit tight. If we can keep this up, we'll crash right into North Coral. Let's see. If we use the levers alternate, alternately to accelerate, it should stop if we move the lever up and down simultaneously. Uh, oh, oh, I see. Menu and cancel. What is that combination? Up, down, menu, and cancel? Ugh. So, up, menu, down, cancel. Hey, it's not working. It's shut up. We're gaining speed. The other way, just watch. I'll... Down and cancel, right? Uh, okay. It's like, I'm mashing the buttons. Hey, hey, hey! But instead it picks up. Yes, I know that. Game! <laughs> Basically, we just keep mashing until... Until he does that. And there we go. We get the we get the huge materia off the train. And we're heroes. We get Ultima for free. We don't have to buy it. Aren't you the ones that stopped the Shinra train? The Shinra was just about to destroy our lives again. Which honestly brings up the question of why? Like, why would they waste a piece of huge materia on destroying this town? What would be the point? It might be full of junk. This is the only home we got, Barrett. Of course, of course. We're all born and raised in the coal mines. No matter how tough of it gets, our hearts burn bright red like coal. We're coal miners, aren't we? Who cares about Meteor? We'll dig a tunnel and hide from the Meteor. That's it. Hey kid, how about giving something to these guys fighting the Shinra? Because this kid definitely has something. For some reason. I don't know why he has this. I got it out of the well. Isn't it an amazing rock? Ultima. And we're not even done yet. Must have been a horrific battle today. You have scars all over your body. I already talked to the end zoner. You can rest for free today. Hey, that's fine by me. Free restore. So Avalon, earlier I got the gold chocobo without having to do a single race. Not even one race and I got a gold chocobo with RNG manipulation. Thanks to a guide I found. It gets better. I saw Knights of the Round for the first time. We got all the uh, materia in the materia caves. It was awesome. All right. So from here, there's only one more huge materia. The Shinra Nii. Knights of the Cutscene, yes. But, if you think about it, because it hits 13 times, that's basically damage every 7 seconds. So, believe it or not, Knights of the Round is actually not that bad for DPS, despite the long cutscene, because it's dealing damage so many times, it kind of makes up for it. Still not as bad as Eden, though. <laughs> I don't know what Eden is. That must be from a different Final Fantasy game, I guess. There's only one more huge materia the Shinra needs. That's the one at the underwater reactor. We'll get there first. FF8, yeah. 
With us always in their face, even the Shinra's gotta be getting tired of it all. We have to hurry. Hurry that much right now. Oh, I'm more worried about him than anyone else. Anything else. Must be about Cloud. Yeah, and I'm worried about Tifa too. Let's go see what's going on at uh, Medeal. So, that must be a typo because there's still the there's still the huge material on the rocket, as well as the one on the undersea reactor. But before we do that, let's go get Barrett's ultimate uh, limit break. Let's get his final limit break from this random woman. Is Meteor really going to crash down on us? I'm still too young. I'll never mar I'll never remarry. This memento is all I have left of my husband. I'll give it to you if you if you'll please stop Meteor. And we got catastrophe. And just like that, we now have the final limit for Barrett. Catastrophe. Excellent. Now if we exit, Eden is three minutes and 40 seconds long. Wow. Now we'll pick up the high wind, then go back over here to pick up our golden chocobo. Oop. Hold on. To pick up our golden chocobo, and that allows us to come in from the back and still retain both our gold chocobo and the high wind without having to go around and like walk around the mountains or something. Or through them, through uh, North Coral. Ugh. Um, all right. It's also called Last Rites in Spanish, which is cool. Yeah, that does sound cool. All right, so back to Medeal. And this is a perfect opportunity for another break. Go ahead and save our game here. Because we do have a boss coming up. This is not a boss, we're going to need a save file for because we're gonna put him on a different save file. But there is something we need to get. There is something very important we need to get here. I need to make sure our materia is set up correctly. Added cut. Yeah. So, there is a second curse ring that we can steal from Ultima Weapon. And I would very much like to get it, if at all possible. So we're gonna go ahead and actually, let's leave MP Turbo on there, because I don't want to accidentally kill it too fast. I don't know if it has a set number of turns or if it has a damage limit, but let's be absolutely sure that we get it. So that's fine. We'll leave our save the way it is then. All right, Cloud. Cloud and Tifa, what you up to? Let's get Cloud back. Oh, right after we go to break though. Perfect time for a break. 
I'll see you guys in just a minute. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is where most people tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. And while I would appreciate you doing all that, if you enjoyed my content, come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash trinfinitex so you can watch and chat with me while I make these. I'm a family-friendly streamer, so everybody's welcome. Throw me a follow on Twitch and Twitter so you can get notifications when I go live. Links will be down in the description. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to meeting you. 